All right, everybody, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. Today, we're gonna to talk about younger fig trees. Uh, we're gonna talk about getting the form right on some of our younger trees. And I had recently did a video, if you guys recall, talking about pinching off the tips. We mentioned that by pinching or doing some summer pruning, we can actually remove the apical bud and actually force our trees to fruit by putting them back in a state of hormonal imbalance and bringing them back into balance here towards the center. If you guys recall that video, thanks for watching. If not, I would go back and definitely check out the details of that video. But we, we did indeed in that video talk about removing the apical bud and we mentioned how it affects the form because not only do when you remove the apical bud, does it actually force the tree to fruit, but it also forces the tree to branch out. And a lot of people in the past that I've spoken with, whether they were friends or people a part of different fig communities, they typically complain actually about pinching for the form. There are some people who are just, people who don't really agree with that sentiment is that pinching should be really exclusive for forming fruits but not something you do for form and i have to disagree i laid out my uh reasoning for that in that video and i basically said that when we remove the apical bud we're going to get some branching that's going to happen and that branching then is typically very strong and very healthy if we give it food and water and i think people's main complaint in the past actually when doing their pinching is that they don't give the trees enough water or they do it at the wrong time of the year i did it here at the high heat of my summer which so the metabolisms of the trees are still going and because we continued watering them because it's been so warm they're responding now with lots of growth from that point in which i removed the apical bud so here's an example here of a tree remove the apical bud right there that's where the scar is and it send up this nice long shoot, this nice long shoot, and that nice shoot right there, which isn't isn't getting the dominance that it needs. And now we have, as I, I described in that prior video, more shoots so that next year we have more apical buds. Is that I'm able to now, because I have these new shoots, I now have this better branching here with these different points of growth that the following season when the trees wake up from dormancy, I'll have a lot easier of a time actually getting them to fruit. And I'll get a higher quantity of fruit and I will get even an earlier to ripen crop. So everything is just easier, earlier, and typically a bit more productive. And we discussed that in a prior video many months ago. We looked at this little ruby tree and I mentioned how on the little ruby, the branches that come out from the apical buds. The new branches have an easier time fruiting and the trees, typically those branches are more productive from those branches. And the easier, it gets a little bit more difficult the further you go down the tree. So the branches now from the lateral buds, they have a slightly more difficult time fruiting. They typically ripen slightly later. Um, and you can kind of see that now actually with this tree. So here was an apical bud right there. And this is one of the first fruits on the tree. This over here was a lateral bud and you can see none of the, none of the fruits have swelled just yet. And typically there's about a difference of about two weeks here. Oh, look at this. So I didn't even notice that, but here's a little ruby fig that's ready to be picked. Lots of ants on this one. But the point is, is that this also was from an apical bud. And you can see, look at this, the fruits here swelling, a lateral bud down here. And now that this is swelling, but it's definitely further behind. So that, it really kind of proves my point in a way. I'm gonna put that fruit down for the sake of this video. Hopefully I remember to come back to it. Now, the further we go down the tree, if we remove the lateral and apical buds, it gets even more difficult for the tree to fruit and the tree will then produce at a later date. So it gets progressively worse and worse to the point where if you get to some of the suckers actually, the branches that come from the very base of the tree, 
those have the hardest time to fruit. So my point is, now that I just showed you some sort of proof of that, my point is, is that now since we've removed this apical bud, we now have more branches that have more apical buds. So the following season, again, I will have an earlier crop of fruits, typically a more productive crop of fruits, and an easier time getting my young tree to fruit. And that's the name of the game, right? We want to set up the form of these trees as quickly as possible with as little effort as possible. And doing that, I can do this pretty much in one season. Because this tree right here, this is called Sitcellus. This tree was four inches tall at the beginning of the season. It grew to about two feet in height. I topped it. And then now it's growing these new branches. So now we have this pattern, this V pattern or Y pattern that I look for in all my trees. We're setting up the scaffolds of our trees. The same thing happened over here with this one. This one's called Hivernenka. Same thing. It started off at four inches off the ground, off the top of the soil there. Grew to a height. I topped it. You can see there's the scar in which I topped it. Look, this comes right off actually. And then of course it now branched out and put out three new shoots. There's one even right down there. Now here's the crazy part, the kicker of all of this. If your tree is still unwilling to really put out a lot of fruit after you top it, after you do the pinching, after you do that summer pruning, it's almost kind of a good thing because we will get some fruit. Like here we go on this Martinenka, I have about three or four fruits that formed after I topped it. Now, I then remove the top, and because there isn't a huge fruit set here, a huge load of energy that has to be dedicated to that tree. And also, I waited, I waited at the right moment. I waited until this tree was very strong and could handle actually getting pinched. Same thing with this, this tree here. As you can see, look, it had some fruits on it down here, and then it grew quite a bit, and it became really a nice strong shoot. So then I topped it, and in a month or so, this is now going to branch out just like these other trees. If I did this on a younger tree or a weaker tree like this, you can see there's not that many leaves on it. The leaves are not really that big. Well, I'm not going to get the branching that I want, right? So there is a caveat here. It's not like, okay, you remove the tip at some point in the summer and then it branches out in the way that I have here and I'm showing you guys. There is some finesse to this. This is a little bit of a of an art. There isn't really like, you know, this isn't a robotic thing we can just do zeros and ones with, right? But if you do this correctly, with a lot of these trees over here that I have, that I did this on, we now get the branching that we, we want. And here's the other kicker, is that I decided on a lot of these because they grew so darn well, I removed the tips again. I removed them again, guys. <laughs> And in specific climates, in a longer season climate than my own, by removing these buds, I will actually get more fruits. This is called rivers pruning. So we pinch at some point in the summer, it branches out and grows all these new shoots. And then on those new shoots, we form more fruits later in the season. Again, that's called rivers pruning. Look it up. There's a video, a number of videos I've done on that. We can increase our production by over 100% that way. So <clears throat> there's the, the point. And then I've, again, to go a little bit further is by removing this apical bud here on the newer branches. So I had one branch originally, then I pinched it. Now I have four on this particular tree. Then I remove on the healthier, very vigorous shoots, the tip again. Well, in about a month or so, or by the end of this season, we still have all of August for the most part, September and all of October, we got like roughly three months for these trees to resume growth a little bit and put out even a, a little bit more growth. And by putting out a little bit more growth, which typically can be a bad idea because we will not lignify our branches the way that we want in time, but we then will form more of these apical buds. And by having more of those apical buds, as I discussed, we then have a way more productive tree next year.
And this is only done for most of these younger trees that we just looked at in one season. Do this as quickly as humanly possible, basically. Or as quickly as fig possible. <laughs> so, you know, you got to pick your time. You got to pick the trees of when you're going to do this. It's a, like I said, it's a little bit of an art, but the benefits are clearly there. Uh, we're literally pinching for the right form of our trees to, I should say, we are pinching to speed up the maturity of our form on these younger fig trees. I don't know exactly know what the right phrase is, but this is gold, guys. Gold, I say. <laughs> um, there it is. I don't know how much more clear it can get than that. Um, again, these trees are ultra productive this way. They're even in, you know, so close together, jam packed. Imagine if I had them spaced out more I would see even better results. So that is this video. I wish you guys the best. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the other videos we mentioned. I mentioned probably, what, three or four different videos in this one. There's a lot to learn. I'm happy to share it with you guys. So again, take care. Check out our blog, figboss.com. Catch you guys for the next one.